Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Last time we did the final preparations for the Clockwork Wing heist, we got ourselves a nice extra sturdy saw blade from some really terrified elephants. We broke into the vault and got control of the winch, as well as killed a couple more guards who were just doing their jobs inside of a jeep trying to protect the skies from thieves like us. Anyways, we're going to be putting on our dancing shoes once more, heading out as Bentley, and we are going to get this heist underway. I'm just going to sneak away over here. Once again, Sly does not get an introduction to a heist, and it's down to Bentley to do his jo the job once more. Just going to drop a bomb on this guy, take him out. I know I could have left him alive, but once again, Bentley is a bloodthirsty maniac who cannot be sati satiated. And you know what? Just because I'm impatient, I'll take him out. Or at least knock him out. Not take him out. Because the other guard was coming after me, and I know he was going to go after me if I waited too long. Okay, Bentley. Murray and I are moving into position. You still think you can demolish something that large? It doesn't take an engineer to figure out how to blow up a bridge. I'll start by placing charges on all of the lower cleats. Once the structure destabilizes, those retainer rings on the upper cleats should pop right off. That should enable me to bomb all of the upper cleats, which will bring it all crashing down. Just watch your head when that thing gets unstable. We need that brain of yours in one piece. All right, easy enough. All right, what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna actually toss a bomb right here. The bridge actually won't start destabilizing until after you blow up at least one or two cleats, so. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna drop a bomb right here. We'll drop one right here. And we're gonna detonate that one. I need to be careful about the falling debris, but it's pretty easy to take out these cleats. Just two more cleats down here. Up here. Now that the lower section is taken care of, it's time for the upper section. These corner cleats are always been very finicky to me. It actually takes two bombs to destroy his upper cleat, so you kind of want to drop two and then get out of the way pretty fast. You know, maybe sometimes it'll take more. Sometimes a bomb will detonate the other one and it won't register, so you gotta kind of be careful where you place them. One, two. One, two. Three more to go. Just two cleats left. Oh, I thought the thing was gonna knock me off the bridge for a second there. One more clean and two, and we're done. Down. Okay, slide the bridge is down. I'll warm up the van and get ready with the RC chopper. Good luck. Bentley, how are you even gonna get back to the van? You're kinda trapped on that plateau right now. What? The bridge is destroyed? Take all the manpower you need and look into it. Murray, you in position? Check! It looks like Bentley's little distraction did the trick. Initiate phase two. I'll take care of Carmelita and the crowd. You handle the heavy lifting. Miss Fox, I believe you owe me a dance. About time. I thought you had left. Just waiting for the perfect moment. Musician, can you please play that music extra loud enough that could cover the sounds of a saw blade go, uh, tearing apart metal? Thank you. familiar to me. Are you in law enforcement? I often deal with police while on the job. Ah.
That's the quietest saw blade ever. something how did they get clockwork swings through that tiny hole up where the winch stranger. was what's your name why ruin the moment huh? i i don't understand the wings what happened to the clockwork wings what how who could have what cooper well they really downsized those wings huh Alright, so you can actually see Slime Bentley out in the field right now. Uh, hold on, let me take care of the guards real quick with Murray. I think he will go by that flashlight guard up there. Now, you can drop bombs right on Murray's head. I think it's, it's supposed to imply that the Clockwork Queens are protecting them from the bombs from the RC chopper. Oops. I see a flashlight guard. I see two flashlight guards. Okay, now they're taken care of. Uh, you can actually see Bentley out on the field. He's at by the palace entrance. Sly, I believe, is more over by the... Uh, exit to the palace. Murray, why are you taking such a roundabout way? The entrance, the exit to the palace was literally right in front of you, but why'd you go up by Bentley? So you drop a bomb right there. Not far to go. Whoops, I see you guys. Slice should be around here somewhere. Uh, I don't see Sly. I thought he was like up here on like one of the uh, like towers or something, but I guess not. After the gang and I got away with the clockwork wings, Carmelita blew her cover and started making arrests left and right. With his reputation in shambles, Rajan was forced to flee from his own party. He's now in hiding, somewhere deep in the jungle. The gang and I took a break and headed for Bollywood. It took some doing, but we eventually snuck Murray onto the set of a full-blown Indian musical. I was happy the guys got to unwind, but Rajan was still out there. And somehow, I knew things were about to get tough. Now what could ever make you think that, Sly? Alright, and with that said and done, we are done with episode 2. Now, I know this video was kind of short, and I wanted to take the moment at the very end to go over a couple of things. Uh, first of which is something back in episode 1 with Dimitri. I never had it happen to me during the LP, as you probably saw, but there actually is some dialogue that it hap that plays if you fail fighting against Dimitri and he does actually beat you during his boss fight, so I'm going to play that right now. And I also want to play what would happen if you did not do well against the with Carmelita during the distraction portion of the heist. Ow! What? A thief above the statue. So yeah, those are just kind of nice little things that show 
show off what happens if you do fail. Kind of like what happens when Sly got utterly defeated when he couldn't even dance with Neela. But yeah, that's where we're going to end off tonight. Next time on Sly 2 Band of Thieves, we are going to be heading off into Chapter 3, or I guess Episode 3, where we have to face a predator that has awakened. And judging by what organ he's holding in his hands, I don't think I have the heart to go on. Take care, everybody.